Okay, so uh, again, test automation suite. So before we start, let's try to understand what is the uh, what is software testing uh, from a very basic point, right? Uh, software testing in a very simple word is, is a process of verifying that a software meet a certain requirement and behave as expected, right? I mean, that is the main goal. We want to make sure that whatever the function, the requirements around the software, whatever the expectations are from that particular software, uh, it is meeting those requirements, as simple as that, right? Uh, now, those requirements uh, can be functional or a non-functional requirement, right? I mean, functional requirement means uh, we are talking more in terms of uh, whether, uh, let's say, a login functionality is working, right? When the user is entering a username and password, uh, whether the user is able to log into that screen, right? So that is what we categorize as a functional requirement, whereas a non-functional requirement is more over like, okay, can this application simultaneously handle 100 users, right? So that is a non-functional requirement where the end user is more like, I mean, uh, like looking whether I'm able to log in or not, but from the system side, whether it can handle the load can be an example of non-functional requirement, right? And our goal as a software testing is to ensure that uh, those all parameters are are met and then a uh, user feels uh, uh, experience like a good experience with the with the software. Now, uh, if you will see from that side, uh, just give me one second. Something is going wrong here. Uh, yeah. So uh, from the from the functional side and non-functional side, there are other uh, test types also, right? A black box and a white box testing, right? A black box testing is uh, more focusing on the input and output, and it just verify the output, right? I mean, uh, sorry, it focus on providing a certain input and verifying the output. That is what we call the uh, black box. Whereas the white box testing, the user has more, the tester has more access to the source code also, right? That is a very high level is between white box and black box testing. And then we have test type as like a manual testing and automation testing, right? Um, again, in a very simple uh, words, uh, a manual testing where uh, it is run by a person and uh, automated uh, testing is more over uh, by uh, uh, attended robots, right? Unattended robots, right? So that is the main different different type of test types and there are further down, but at a high level, these are the couple of like uh, test types. Now, why software testing is required, right? Uh, that is the most important question, why we are discussing about uh, all these topic. Now, if you see that uh, software systems are now integral part of our daily life, right? How many systems we interact on a day to day basis, right? Right now we are, we are accessing like a couple of applications, right? And if you will think from morning to evening, uh, you may use applications for your, your paying your bills, for your food orders, maybe for transportation, for booking, for shopping, right? So many other things we do uh, use uh, our apps for, right? And that is where it is called the digital disruption. Means uh, so many of digital technologies we are using that are changing, fundamentally changing the way we interact with our software products. Now think about uh, Uber, right? A driving service that is without any car. Air, Air, uh, Airbnb, right? They are the accommodation service, but without any property, right? So that is the business model. There are business models that are sole asset is software, right? Uber, like, I mean, they don't have a single car. Uh, sim similarly, Airbnb, they don't have any properties, but their model, they are selling uh, properties. They are uh, like facilitating the cars. How? Because their main asset is software. So what does that mean? It means every business is now becoming a software business. A software failure means it is a business failure. That is the most important key. So software testing, that is why is a paramount importance. I mean, we cannot ignore because if the software fails, uh, business is going uh, to fail. And especially if you will see from the last two, three years with the pandemic, uh, the, the, the organizations or the business that are easily able to switch into their online model or software models are able to survive, right? And uh, these type of instance uh, also in, uh, like come I in mean, enforcers that soft, we are software ready and our software is working as expected. So that is why software testing is, is uh, required. Now, if you look into this slide, you see that if we are going towards the, the last business model, let's say we do a development, then we do the IT operation 
and then we produce our software and uh, simply publish it uh, and it is in production any defect that will come here in your uh, what you call the at the time of production it is more expensive to fix right that is the basic goal i mean sooner you fix the uh, error it will be less uh, expensive but if you will try to move that error and determine like uh, find that error in a production it is going to be very expensive to fix that and that is where we are now uh, focusing on how we can avoid that how we can um, uh, like uh, reduce the cost or the expensive uh, expense that is in the production, how we can fix those test uh, software early in the game. And that is where the, the paradigm called the RPA shift left comes into picture or, or shift left, which means you need to test your software everywhere and anywhere, right? I mean, uh, and as soon as possible. And that brings us the concept of continuous testing. Continuous testing means uh, doing the testing without any uh, interruption, right? If you will see originally, uh, the term conditional testing, continuous testing referred to the ability of executing uh, automation test as part of your software delivery pipeline, right? But now that uh, definition is a little different because with the, with the digital disruption we talk about, now uh, there is continuous testing referred to the, to the diffusion of software testing from distinct as well as the siloed pre-release phase and an ongoing activity. I mean, it should be again everywhere and uh, anywhere that is possible. But continuous uh, testing is important, but still, if you will see here, only 25% of the organizations have automated their uh, their uh, testing. They are still doing a lot of manual testing. A lot of uh, men hours are still we are wasting on doing the manual testing. Now, if we understand that, uh, if you will see, testing is also doing a con continuous way, and maybe we are uh, testing the same test case again and again. And automation is all about, or even even if you talk about RPA, is all about how we can reduce this repetitive work, how we can automate this repetitive work, right? And that is our goal is. So uh, doing the automation, reducing the repetitive work, and that is where our test suite comes into picture. So the test suite is the solution that support uh, our testing, not only the testing team, but it can also it support also the RPA team. Uh, test suite is a production grade automation uh, uh, software or the platform. It can automate any uh, thing like, I mean, whether you talk about the UI, API, uh, mobile testing, SAP uh, solution, even the mainframe also, right? And then uh, the advantage of test suite is not only that it can now, it, you can share your automation and reuse it for the test automation, right? And that is where seamlessly it integrates with the other tool chain. That is where the tool, uh, the test suite is, is uh, now is the new paradigm for our uh, test automation. Now, there are four components of a test suite. And that is the big picture. I'll talk about at a high level, a big picture, and then Shiri will go into more details about uh, the individual component. But let's look at a high level, these four components. What are these four components? The very first component is the test manager, right, right here. So the main purpose of test manager uh, is that it integrates your UI path test suite with your ALM tools. Uh, the ALM tools can be your uh, Jira, it can be uh, Azure DevOps, right? It can be ALM. So any of those type of uh, your uh, ALM Octane, these, uh, that is where the test measure comes into picture. It integrates your UI part test suites with your ALM tools. And then it uh, gives you many other, uh, your planning and monitoring. It can be all done, uh, it's all done using the test manager. Now, the second part, important part is our Studio Pro. Studio Pro is the component where developer automates test and test RPA workflow. Basically, this is the, the canvas where you design your automation, right? In simple words, that is where you can, you can automate your uh, workflows, you can automate web apps, you can automate SAP applications, Citrix application, and then you can also create your test cases uh, in the Studio Pro. The third component is orchestrator. It is again the production grade uh, product used by thousands of customers with test suite, 
uh, the orchestration capabilities, uh, whether you want to group all your test uh, cases into a test set, you want to you, uh, do the CI CD integration, that is where the orchestrator will come into picture. And at the end, the fourth important component is the robots. Um, like we mentioned, these are test robots um, that executes test and can report result to test manager or orchestrator or your ALM tools. So these four components are the components that, that collectively uh, makes the UI path test suites. Now, this is the overall high level architecture about uh, the test suite. Uh, we talked about uh, the Studio Pro, we talked about orchestrator, we talked about test manager. Now, what is test manager hub, right? So test manager uh, is like, I mean, it is like, it has two parts. One is the test manager app that we are referring the front end of test manager that we are calling as test manager. And the second is the test manager hub. This is the back end of the test manager, right? And this test manager, again, um, if you will see, there are multiple connectors through which you can now connect your ALM. All these connectors are available in the UiPath market space. And then it has a SDK also that you can um, use to build your own, uh, automate your own uh, tools, ALM tools. And then um, rest remains the same. Uh, and this is the high level architecture about the UiPath test suite. Uh, why I'm switching here. Okay. Now, um, if you will see what are the what are the top capabilities of the UiPath test suite, we talked about RPA testing, UiPath suite with the help of UiPath test suite, you can now automate your your workflows. So that is what we are calling it as like not work automate, but you can test your workflow. That is what we are referring as the RPA testing. Then with the RPA testing, you can also determine your test coverage, which is very important for any uh, test automation, right? Then UiPath test suite, with UiPath test suite, you can do mobile automation. With test suite, you can do SAP automation. You can also do uh, like, I mean, API automation. And with all this automation, you get all the capability of data driven. You can create synthetic, uh, synthetic data. You can also manage your test cases. And that is the overall uh, in like high level capabilities of the UiPath test suite. Not only that, if you will see uh, documentation, right? In, in uh, like, I mean, um, in a normal life cycle of a software, documentation is also very important, right? What this test case is going to do, right? We don't want to, when we are talking about automation, we don't want to spend our value, valuable time in manually document those test ideas, right? And that is where UiPath, another test capability of the test capture comes into picture. UiPath test suite has a, is a component called test capture. What it does is when you will start, it start recording what uh, the, your interaction. And then you can use that recording, not only to generate documents, but you can also use the skeleton becomes your skeleton for the automation. So that is the power of uh, the test suite uh, with all this capability. Now it's also generating your documentation with using the test capture and then it becomes the skeleton for your automation or test cases also. The next important factor, the capability of test suite is reporting. Reporting is very important, right? This is the one where we measure uh, our achievements, right? So with test suite, uh, you can generate, you have a dashboard that shows so many like uh, different uh, like diagrams and uh, your, your reports through which you can take a decision like how your, your overall uh, test automation is going, right? And not only that, it has an open architecture which, which let you to integrate the test suite with other application also, so that you can uh, not only uh, stick with the with the custom, but you can build your custom reports also. At the last uh, customization, this is very important. Again, uh, test manager can be customized uh, as you need because without the, uh, we don't have a one fit solution for all the test management, right? And that is where the customization also come into picture and UiPath test suite has the capability to do your customization. And lastly, again, um, innovation. Uh, so innovation can be taking two things that already exist and putting them together in a new way, right? And that is where, uh, when we talk about innovation with the UiPath test suite, it fits right along with the with the platform. Um, it can be auto uh, It can be automated with your your UiPath inside. It can be uh, integrated with the chatbots, task mining, US process mining, uh, UiPath process mining, and AI center. And that is where at a high level is about the test suite. Now, 
what we are going to do is i am going to hand it over to shri but before i do that i'll take a pause any questions up to this point at a high level about test suite test suite is a very uh, a wide topic i'm trying to rush into that one but uh, to give you a high level overview but if you have any questions uh, again uh, feel free to reach me back and now from this point onwards we will see how practically it is done and then we will open for open uh, question and answers but up to this point any questions anyone okay i'll treat it as no so from here shri i'm going to hand it over to you i'll stop sharing and you can start sharing sure after yeah thank you uh before that uh, just a, a few line about shri shri is the automation uh, lead also a test automation lead for paraton so shri if you want to introduce yourself uh, anything you want to add so i'll sure. stop sharing you can start sharing and take it over okay thanks atul thank you very much yeah mm. hello everyone good morning uh, myself is shrinivas ardokla i am a test automation lead at paraton and uh, we have been using ui path uh, in the last two and a half years and uh, we had a very good feedback uh, why because ui path is not only a suitable tool for test automation we can use for other automation activities like if you want a, a daily report to send to the email recipients if you want to do some activity not related to testing but uh, if you want to uh, any any other uh, non testing activities also if you want to automate we can do use ui path to do that so in our uh, project uh, ui path became an instant hit and uh, currently we are adding more people whoever previously did manual testing we are we are adding more people and we are asking them to go to ui path academy learn some ui path basics and come join the ui path automation uh, team at paraton so now i'll be sharing my screen uh, let me know if uh, everyone able to see my screen yes shri we can yeah okay so the first step uh, as part of testing as atul mentioned there are four main components uh, one is ui path uh, studio this is where we actually develop all the scripts means uh, we are going to use a recorder or we we are going to drag and drop, drop the activities this is where we are going to create the base of uh, everything means we are going to use to, uh, studio and once we develop the script we are going to upload these scripts means we we are having two approaches now we are going to upload these scripts in orchestrator and uh, we can upload these scripts into test manager both uh, way we can execute the scripts in both places so first i will jump into ui path studio and how we are going to do it as part of and, testing uh, shri, just just uh, uh, so the most important point if you remember satish uh, sorry uh, shri mentioned is about the drag and drop there is no coding involved here right i mean uh, all the example that shri is highlighting here everything is drag and drop that is the most important advantage of using the ui path test suite is any experience level if you don't if you are not a programmer you don't have any knowledge about programming test suite is is like a, a no code low code platform i think actually you can correct me there's very hardly any scenario where we are actually doing coding right in your experience most That's of right. the things are uh, no code low code no code right i mean we are just dragging and dropping things or maybe using the web recorder uh, for test automation so that is the main advantage what makes the test suite stand out from the other tools and that is what like shri mentioned is working for us most of the users that shri mentioned are are like business analyst or the uh, the front end user uh, like uh, the customers who have no knowledge about uh, programming you can take it shri that's right. yeah that, that's right yeah the the script uh, the workflows which i'm going to show now is absolutely a zero code i mean it is all i created is i created a, a sequence i created a file and after the drag and drop and the drag and drop also it is very same means like uh, if you are going into a web page you know whether you are going to clicking that button or whether you're typing into it so what i did is this we have a demo application ui path is having a demo application where ui bank i'm just going to open that ui path is having a, a ui bank tool where we can 
click this is completely a test application where we can click loans and we can click on apply loan and we can enter all the information after that we can click submit button like that this is the activity and everything means here we are going to type into a we are going to use type into activity here we are going to click that submit loan button like that and as part of ui paths what we did is uh, and the best practice is before even creating a test case in ui path we had to create a workflow and what the workflow is going to do is it's not going to validate anything it is one complete end-to-end -end process means uh, here if you see i opened ui, UI bank uipath.com web page and after that i clicked on the products uh, feature once i click on the products drop down i clicked on loan loans once i uh, clicked on loan i apply i clicked on apply for a loan and after that i entered all the information like email uh, loan amount loan term and everything current yearly income and age and after that i clicked on submit loan application once i have that i collected the uh, get text means for my validation uh, whether the loan is uh, application successful or not when we click on submit loan application we are going to get a congrats message and i, I collected that me message and i collected the new loan id means whatever the confirmation number we have i collected that id and i went back to the home page back to the loan center and i clicked on apply already having a loan button and i entered the loan id there and I clicked on retrieve loan details and then I'm going to validate whether the information I entered as part of loan application is displaying correctly or not. This is my validation part in every test case. So I created a workflow here and once I have the workflow means uh, we can just once we have the workflow and everything we can right click uh, the workflow and we can say that create test case. Once we click on create test case what will happen is it's going to create a test case in a given when then form given means if we give any specific data uh, we are going to process when is when we given this data we are going to process the ui, UI bank apply loan and we are going to validate uh, whether the information we entered is as per expected or not so what i will do is i'm going to execute the workflow once and i'm going to show what exactly the workflow is going to do and after that uh, once this workflow is done i'm going to test the execute the test case and see how what what kind of different data we can use uh, as part of this test case So, Shri, which uh, uh, platform UI Path Studio version you are using? Uh, is it 2020.4? 20.4, 20. 20. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, the reason I'm saying is like recently, uh, last week, actually two days back, uh, UI Path uh, with the 2022.4 release, they have improved the performance by 50% uh, the way the bots run and in the low time of application. So that's a, a important feature or the impro a very imp critical improvement they did in the last release. Got it. Yeah, I think I'm using the latest. It, it is. I am using the free comment version. Yeah, I'm using 22.4. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So uh, if you observed, uh, I executed the workflow where it opened um, the web page and it completed the loan application and uh, it went collected the loan ID, went back and entered the loan id and see whether the information we and uh, the user entered is same as we retrieved uh, from the loan application this is the workflow and the beauty of this is uh, means as the test case um, if any change happened in the workflow we no need to do any change in the test case I means just updating it in the workflow is going to uh, uh, work so now I created a test case. So it is a given when then scenario where I'm going to give data uh, and it's going to process in the uh, UI bath apply loan process and it's going to validate. And for this, uh, what I did is I added a data, uh, uh, some data to it. Um, so what we can do is means we can add data to it. And once uh, if you click on test case, 
update test data, remove test data like that. It means I added data to it. And in the drop down, we can see that, okay, run with data variations. Hmm. Once we click on run with data variations, we're going to have a list of uh, test data, which I gave uh, beforehand. It means I documented the test data in Excel and uh, I ported uh, the test data uh, into this UI path. So we can select some or we can select all. But so this, just, to, uh, uh, just to add here, uh, actually, can you cancel this one for one second? Just to add sure, one yeah. note here. If you will go into your uh, this object under test data, can you go there uh, in your left? Yeah, just go up, keep going up. No, up, 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 up. Okay. Uh, after screenshot fo folder, there's a screenshot folder. Then there's a project folder and then it's a test data folder. But two more up. Uh, keep down now, keep down, okay. sorry. Entities, templates, objects, okay, test. Okay, explain this one. So what this mean is the same data which uh, she is talking about. What happens is I think Shri, you have a uh, input as an Excel sheet, right? And correct, behind yeah. the scene, what happens is that your Excel sheet data, whatever the data you have captured, is now converted into XML. So can you double click on this uh, test data UI one application? Uh, more apps, maybe, uh, and maybe Notepad. Yeah, just shoot Notepad. So if you will see all the data that uh, she was showing here is there in a, in a sorry, uh, my, my bad, I said uh, XML, it is a JSON format. So all the data that you have collected in Excel is now converted into a JSON format, which is a very standard format. And that is where all your data sits here. So I just want to highlight that one. So Got all you. the test is not visible. It is still there in your application. And if you want to modify, you can modify the, your test data. Got it. Yeah. So here uh, I'm going to click run file with data validations and whatever data uh, we saw in the test data, uh, we can select all or we can select some uh, like that means for this testing purpose, I'm going to select all. Then click on run. So it's going to execute uh, three times as we are having three test data, it's going to execute three times, um, getting all the information um, from the and look data. at the speed yeah, and look at the speed how fast it is executing your automation right so think about thousands of use cases right i mean how fast ui path can um can automate and run your test uh, cases and she is just showing one example right for a single workflow there will be a hundreds or maybe if not hundreds tens of uh, test cases per per uh, use case right that you can write that's right yeah we completed i think this work for three times uh, and if you go to output um, all this uh, we completed in 13 seconds and as each uh, uh, test case we are we validated whether the uh, the loan yearly income what we entered as part of uh, loan application is exactly the same as what we received uh, when we retrieved that loan application like that means so this is a uh, web uh, automation testing. So does anyone having any questions regarding web automation testing? If not, I will jump into the uh, second uh, client automation testing, client server automation testing. And Atul, you want to add anything? No, I think uh, we, uh, so far we are good. Okay. So the second one is uh, client or, or automation testing. So this is also uh, again a UiPath um, tool where uh, we're going to enter enter the information where cash in, um, uh, we're going to enter all this information, click on accept um, and we're going to generate a transaction ID here. So as part of this testing process, what I'm going to do is I'll just open the Excel also. So as part of uh, this testing, uh, what I'm, I'm doing is I'm going to enter the cash in on a check, not on a check information, and I'm going to validate whether the total deposit, what we are seeing here is matching with the total deposit here or not. 
and whatever the transaction id we are generating is going to populate back on this uh, excel sheet this is the testing i'm going to do here now um, So here, if I click on uh, here, what it's going to do is it's going to open the application and after that it's going to enter, uh, read the test data uh, from the Excel and it's going to enter all that information in the uh, UiPath uh, application and it's going to complete the transaction. And once we're done, there is only two records in that uh, Excel. So we're going to execute twice. And once we're done with it, we're going to close the application. And here, means we validated the actual total deposit. What we entered uh, in the application is same as we entered in the Excel or not. And when we go to the Excel file, if you see it just got updated, if you go to the Excel file, it updated the transaction ID means it not only validated it and it also collected the information from the application and it took the transaction ID and updated back into the Excel. This uh, as part of uh, uh, testing purpose means uh, we completed a transaction and we want to document this transaction ID for later uh, validation whether if anyone wants to see whether uh, the transaction is created successfully or not as part of uh, that they can collect this transaction and they can execute. Okay. So this is the client uh, server uh, automation on testing. Does anyone having any questions? If not, uh, I will jump into orchestrator and tell where exactly we are going to store the test cases, test sets and uh, execution and everything. So, so far, if you see, we have covered so far uh, how you can create your one component so far as the studio provide. This is the canvas where you are designing all your automation uh, with the drag and drop. Um, again, that is where we have seen how the test data is generated. And we have also covered like the normal automation, like whenever you're doing automation, which is the RPA. RPA side of it is just simply creating a workflow, right? Your automation. Uh, by clicking the button, entering the data, that is what uh, a workflow or simply RPA is. But now RPA and your test automation is going hand in hand, hand, right? You are reusing the automation you did uh, in your test ca uh, cases, right? That becomes your RPA testing, right? Where you have already have a workflow, but you want to ensure that the workflow or the automation is working as expected. That is what is called RPA testing that uh, she just demonstrated. Another part of is solely focus on the test automation, right? Uh, we we took example of web automation where you have created a web application like uh, UiPath Bank and now you want to write your test cases uh, when the user is entering the data, whether the load is, uh, loan is successful or not. So all those different kind of uh, test scenario using different data variation that is what is coming as the web automation. And the third part that uh, she covered is the Windows application. It is not only limited to uh, to web, you can do your Windows application and that is another important factor that distinguish uh, your part test suite with Selenium like I mean Selenium is another powerful tool right but Selenium only support a web here with test suite now you can also do Windows application not only Windows you can do API testing you can do SAP automation you can do mainframe automation so that is so far we have covered uh, so Shri, you can go next and we can do mobile mobile uh, automation also. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. So next, uh, we're going to jump into orchestrator. Mm. Orchestrator is a place uh, where we can add all our test cases. Means uh, currently we have two test cases. Um, we can add all our test cases here, and we can create a test sets. Uh, currently, I, don't, I have only two test cases, so I haven't created any test set. But uh, we can create a test set and we can schedule the test means let's say uh, we want to execute um, this test case every day uh, at a certain time like that means okay we can create a regression suite and we can create a and we can say that okay execute every day at uh, 7 pm uh, uh, 
uh, let's say the build uh, is being deployed, a new build is be every day is being deployed at 6 p.m. And we can say that, okay, as soon as the build got deployed, execute this test case and see whether the functionality which is already being uh, worked is not broken or not. So we can schedule the test case and we can execute the test cases from orchestrator also where here, let's say if I click on uh, UI bank apply loan, I can click on execute and this is my uh, my account. So we, it means we can use any, but yeah, this is having my account here, uh, my machine uh, like that. We can use any and when I click on execute. So what it will do is it's going to read the application and it's going to do the same process what we did, uh, what we showed earlier. And every test case is uh, we are going to have the validation points, whether uh, the text is displaying or not, whether um, the data is displaying as expected or not. Once that validation is passed, the test case is going to update as passed. So here uh, everything uh, is passed. And one more uh, nice thing about UiPath is I just forgot to mention that. In the this is the validation means I'm going to verify whether the total amount um, here for uh, this uh, uh, demo purpose I checked whether take a screenshot if failed and take a screenshot if passed. What does this mean is when we go to orchestrator, whenever this pass means we can go to view assertions. It's going to take a screenshot. If it is fail, uh, usually e, currently when I'm doing uh, my e, development uh, in UiPath, I, I only click uh, if it is fail, take a screenshot. For but for this demo, I kept both. So even though if it is passed, it's going to take a screenshot. Uh, in production, if it is if the test case is failed, we should know at what point the test case is failed. Like that means what exactly? If I'm expecting a value as uh, 10. But if I got a value as 11, so it's going to take a screenshot and we can after after uh, this, we can do a debug and we can see what ex where exactly the issue is so that we can uh, report it to the developer. This is one of the nice feature where uh, we can create test sets and we can schedule uh, one good thing. Uh, what really liked uh, uh, by our management is the test schedule. Since we are having uh, a certain number of uh, test sets, uh, test scripts, we cannot manually going there and clicking the play button. It's also manual task means uh, so we can automate that also. Um, we can schedule it. Okay, execute this test set at six o'clock. Execute this set at six thirty like that. So it's going to start executing each test case one by one. And uh, the next day when we come, we're going to have all the set of results saying that okay, what all the test cases are passed, what all the test cases are failed, and what are the reasons where exactly the test cases fail like that. Do you want to add? Uh, no, I think more? it's great. I mean, and uh, can you just click on the add test set? So, like uh, Shri mentioned, we have not demonstrated, but it's so easy uh, in the add a test set. So basically, test set is grouping your test cases, right? And it's all so simple. If you will see, there's a, a guided wizard. You just give a name. Uh, maybe just click on the uh, that's one, and you will yeah. see all your test uh, uh, cases will appear here. And it's a, just a uh, click of buttons that you need to do to create a test cases, right? And all right away, your your uh, test case is created with two test uh, cases. Two test cases is created with the two test cases, right? And if you will go into the test execution, that is also where, can you go there, uh, Shri? Uh, and here the test execution is showing all your pass and fail cases, right? Whatever you have executed. And if you will go to the test schedule, it is so simple, a guided wizard, to help you can if you click on test schedule it will tell okay what you want to do how many times you want to execute that right so everything is right away straightforward without any co programming without any complexity a guided wizard to help you create your test cases uh, test sets 
your test schedules as simple. And uh, the one point I think uh, which she may, uh, uh, missed in uh, highlighting is like once when you were in the studio pro, right? All your uh, test cases, when we created all the test cases, how they are appearing here. It is very simple on a click of button called publish. That is where whatever she has created is now coming right away. If you will see here, when you click on publish here, it will ask you, okay, where you want to publish and your, if your studio is connected with the orchestrator, it will right away publish all your test cases to the orchestrator. And not only that, it can also give you a capability like in the test manager, if you will see the section, uh, can you go Shri on the test manager on the top there, in the studio pro uh, three. Yeah, here. So you can not only connect your studio pro with orchestrator, but you can also connect your uh, studio pro with your uh, test manager also. So that is where the studio pro is now integrated with your orchestrator. It is uh, ex uh, connected with your test manager. And that is where the, what we have just seen a connection with the test orchestrator. That's how all the automation or the test cases that you have created becomes available as part of your orchestrator. Thanks. Yeah. 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 And yeah, as we are nearing the time, um, yeah, this is the orchestrator. I'm going to jump into the test manager, what Atul was mentioning uh, just a while back. Yeah. So how to port a test case uh, into a test manager? So what it is, it is also very simple as a click of a button. Um, what we can do is we can just right click that particular test case and link to the test manager. Once we link it to the test manager, it's going to have uh, in the test manager here in the test manager here. We have um, I have a uh, test project called Ohio uh, uh, chapter demo. If I click on. If I click on the project, it's going to automatically drop down that project. Once we click on that, uh, I can port that particular test case, uh, test case onto the test manager. So I already did it currently. I have two test cases. Uh, the one, if you and one more, we can differentiate based on the icon. If it is a circle uh, like that, it is a test case, and if it is UI like that, it is a workflow. So I ported both the test cases onto the test manager. And if you can go and see here, there are two test cases. Here, uh, I, I created a test set. And we can once we selected the test set, we can execute manually and we can execute uh, automated. Execute manually means we not only this test manager is for automated test cases. We can create a manual test case also in this test manager and we can execute them or we can port the test case from the studio pro and uh, we can execute uh, from here. So as I, I don't have any manual test case in test manager, but I have two automated test cases. This test set is having two automated test, test cases. So I'm going to execute both automated so as I clicked on execute automated, so what it did is it picked up the WI test case and it's, it's executing the test case first. Once the test case is done, and now it started executing the second uh, test case. In the second test case, we are executing, as we know that we are having three data variations. Um, it took all the three data variations and it is going to execute thrice. So meanwhile, uh, this test case is getting executed again. Um, as we mentioned in the overview section, the test manager is all about integrating your automation with your requirement, right? And like uh, um, Shri is showing, this is this is one of the most important platform for anyone, like especially the stakeholders or your your managers, right? In or this is the place where you are going to manage uh, your your test results. You, you can see your test results. You can execute manually, and you can manage your requirements also. 
that is one of the key area which not any other tools provide so that is another important component that make UiPath test suite stands out because not only it is executing your test cases not uh, like orchestrated is managing but this is where your requirement meets your automation right and each of the test case that you're getting executed let's say for any reason it fails it has the capability now to even integrate with your ALM tool create defects and that is where all the magic is happening that's right yeah and as we see all the four uh, test cases uh, are passed here and if you go to the dashboard so now we're going to have this uh, dashboard and it's going to say how many were executed for that given day and how many are passed uh, like that so uh, and we can have the results here also means uh, here just now executed uh, four test cases and all four are passed and if any fail is there it's going to show red uh, like that and in the requirements currently i have not integrated with any requirement tool but we can create a requirement and we can uh, attach that requirement to the particular test case so that we can get a requirement traceability saying that whether this requirement uh, let's say requirement a what all the test cases are associated with this requirement like that means um, we can do that activity so, test manager is kind of a pure testing tool where we can have the requirements uh, um, we can have test cases test sets and uh, the management or uh, if anyone want to know the health of the application means we have 10 regression test uh, cases what is the health of the application, whether all the regression test cases are uh, working as expected or not, if any fail is there, if fail is there, um, did we create a defect or did we triage that uh, failure like that? And uh, the important other important point is all this is real time sync. For example, if we have integrated this uh, test manager with the, let's say uh, Jira, right? So uh, if you will create a requirement here, let's say, uh, Shri, can you go back to the requirement tab? The yeah. minute you create a requirement and if it is integrated with the uh, the tool, the right away, any change you will do here will be rep uh, uh, reflected in your, your ALM tools and vice versa. So all the results, everything that is happening in the test manager is, is, is real time. So I think we actually uh, anything more you want to add? We have just five yeah, minutes left. Just, so. Yeah, right. Yeah, just only one point means sure. all the things which I showcased. It's a zero code. Um, uh, there is not even one uh, coding I did. It is all drag and drop and all the activities means uh, the activities. I clicked on uh, drag and drop from here and I created this script. That is, uh, uh, I think, uh, one of the beauty of UiPath. Um, low code uh, no code uh, uh, tool not only for testing uh, and also for automation purpose right and on and top of that like the recorder that is available here if you can click on the recorder yeah just over it so that is another recorder if you don't want to do for example here right i want to create a, a recording i don't want even to do drag and drop so the recorder can even help you out where you don't need to do anything just interact with your application the way you are doing and it will automatically create all your step-by-step -step instruction, uh, your script, basically, in other words, your script will be all ready with just the way you are interacting with the application. Think about your manually executing one um, application, logging into the application, doing this recorder will capture all these steps and your test case is ready in, in uh, minutes or maybe seconds, right? So that is uh, the advantage. And again, this is similar to other Selenium and other tools, but with other capabilities, like we mentioned about test manager, integrating with CI CD, um, not only limiting to web app uh, with your, your mobile automation, API testing, other, uh, that is where the UI part suite is, stands out from the other tools. So uh, actually anything you want to add more or we can open uh, if anybody wants uh, have any questions or want to discuss anything specifically. No, yeah. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm well, sure thank you so much Shri, for your uh, great uh, demonstration of the uh, test suite. Again, we try to jump in many topic because this is again a very wide topic. Any topic yeah. that you pick, uh, pick from the test suite, we have not covered so far the test or uh, the mobile automation. Um, UI path integrates with I think Sauce Lab, right? And that is where you can now uh, do your uh, mobile automation. It has an API testing available. We have not covered how we can do the mocking. Uh, we are not able to cover because of the time uh, how that uh, code coverage is done. But there is so many features 
that UiPath test provides uh, data sanitizing. It has couple of inbuilt uh, activities which can not only uh, like they can also you can generate data on the runtime. Uh, so there is those capability. There's code coverage. There's mocking. Uh, there's mobile automation. There is uh, SAP automation. A big chunk of capabilities are there as part of the test suite. And uh, soon we are also uh, as part of the UI path effort. We will be starting a developer circles, uh, which will be a series of uh, 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 like, I mean, these kind of events will happen. We are planning to have a three or four events focusing on the test suite itself. So if you want to join that, that will be great where we are going to go in much more details uh, than what we did in this event. But again, um, me, Shri, all the uh, community, this this uh, event, this community is with you. So anything you want to discuss, let's say, Shri Devi, you are having some challenge and you want to understand more. Uh, this is again yeah. a high level overview, right? So yeah. feel free to reach us anytime or uh, tell us I mean, if, what you feel so far and anything uh, that we can help you, right? But if not now, anytime we are approachable uh, at any moment. So uh, what's your thought? I mean, how you think about the test suite so far? Oh, test suite is uh, good, but I have a question from before, yeah. but I don't have someone to mentor me for that. Uh, do we need to install test manager or uh, is already there in the studio? So test manager, you need to install separately. Uh, mm -hmm. Test manager does not come as part of your your like Studio Pro. Uh, mm -hmm. Though the testing capabilities there in the the testing that was uh, she showed as part of the orchestrator, it is there. Yep. Test manager is separate component. Uh, I'm not sure whether it is a uh, part of the community edition. I can check for that. She any idea is yeah. test manager yeah. also available in community as part of new version. What UiPath uh, did is uh, yes. test manager is part of the community version. The one which I showcased now, it is all community version uh, it's all uh, free to uh, free service from ui path uh, my studio is 2021 10.4 right so but, uh, uh, yeah so uh, I, yeah upgrade right. to the latest version because uh, uh, what i'll suggest is like uh, keep there like there are two options when you install it you always want to get the latest version so i'll suggest as a learner uh, try to uh, to get the latest version of UI Path Studio every now and then they are uh, pushing so many features. I'll highly recommend everyone to attend their demo sessions, which happens like it was two days back. You will at least get to know what are the new capabilities that are coming, right? So that is where I, and, and UI Path is changing every day. Uh, they are pushing new features like anything. I mean, every time you go ahead and uh, after every week, you will find that a new feature is coming. So I will highly recommend everyone don't uh, always have the latest version of uh, the UiPath components and attend their demo session. They are available on YouTube also, and I can share the link if uh, you're interested. Sure. Thank you. And feel free uh, anyone like I mean, uh, we want to uh, have any questions, not only this time, but often also we are uh, uh, available uh, and uh, we'll be uh, try to help you through your automation journey. And uh, another thing what we are going to do is we are starting a, like what you call a coffee session every uh, maybe after every two weeks, uh, maybe on Friday, we will meet around 430 to 530 uh, just uh, virtually. So if you have any questions, we can start with two weeks, but we can do weekly also. So uh, just join if you have any questions that you want to help that will be open talk. Those 30 minutes will be open talk. Anything you want to discuss uh, about RPA, that is the purpose of those uh, meetings. We will be starting very soon. Uh, you will soon see a event published just for coffee talks. That is where we can discuss more and bring more automation ideas uh, into, uh, into picture. Um, so yeah, that's from my side. Thank you so very much once again, everyone for joining and see you very soon in the, our next event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Shri. A wonderful presentation demo. Thank you. Thank you.